Andy here. Um, I was walking around Lowe's the other day, and w without my mask on, we come up to this couple. They were uh, walking past us, and the lady said something to me, and I didn't quite understand what she said. said Pardon, ma'am. Excuse me. And she said, you haven't been confronted yet? And, you know, immediately I was like, oh, well, here we go. I'm going to have to not argue, but at least just state my case to this older lady and her to try to pull the guilt strings on me, whatever. But, you know, that was a, a bad judgment. The, met the gentleman she was with, uh, this was an older couple, but he had a veteran's hat on. And uh, he shook my hand. He shook my hand, and he was just like, "Um, that's that's what I wanted to fight for. That's what I thought I was fighting for. This government now is overstepping their bounds. They're overstepping their boundaries. You know, this is uh, an infringement on our." human rights it's not even he was you know he was a bit of a united states in you know but but at the same time he had that level of rights like he knew the level of freedom and why i was doing it i wasn't doing it for any type of uh group think Crap, but with, with this, he, he said that there's groups out there and they're ready to fight. And, you know, I'm not really part of any of them groups. I'd rather not fight. I'd rather just uh, boycott the entire systems. Because, and, and you know, this election stuff that's coming up, we all need to boycott the elections too. I don't understand why people even think that voting has anything to do with anything. Look what's going on now. Did you vote to have to wear a mask? Did we even come to any type of conclusion? How can we even have a democracy with executive orders? And anyone that wants to control the, the life of a human being through policies and regulations is committing treason, for one. This is treason. They're not working for the American public any longer. This is all United States corporate policies. This has nothing to do with uh, America any longer. This is all corporate policies. And look at the corporations. Look at where the money is. Look at the advertisements. Look at how there's no more mom and pop shops because all these big corporations are running them out. They're controlling the the media. Who gets to uh, advertise? Uh, how much can you afford to advertise? You know, and these trillions of dollars that are creating jobs. I I don't think so. I don't. They're creating slavery, not jobs. They're creating control slavery but getting back on to the uh, anyone that wants to control the human behavior through these policies and statutes and stuff are just downright evil when I see these politician signs I'll vote this for judge vote so-and-so for sheriff vote so-and-so for mayor these are all the people that are pushing the policies. These are the the scum, the dross, if you want to call them. These people are the lowest on the totem pole, but they have the highest rank, they think. And, and you know why they think it is because they got you to think that they are. Not me. Not me. I'm done. You know, I'm don't want any part of this United States citizenry, in which I've filed my paperwork. I am no longer a 14th Amendment United States citizen. Okay? 
I am a human being. I am flesh and blood. I am that I am. Right here, right now. I am not a word on a piece of paper. I am not a, just another another number to them. And this is what you people need to stand up and start doing. Making publications stating that I am not your subject. I am not subject to your laws, your regular your your policies, your regulations, your licensings, your banks that are controlling all of it. Anyways, this stuff gets me pretty ramped up because the level of consciousness that the, in a collective sense, I hate being part of it. I hate being at the level of consciousness of not knowing anything. When you get to start knowing things and then you see all the ignorance that you were part of once, I'm so glad I'm out of it. And then all of this, you anyone can get out of it too. You need to know what's going on. And you need to see it with your spiritual eyes because they will not... They do come out and say it, but you don't have the ears to hear it. And you don't have the eyes to see it. Train yourself. You start seeing these things and some people are like, Oh, Andy, you're just so... Uh, negative not everything that you talk about is it is look at the news what positive things are coming out of the news I guess if you have your blindfolders on like oh they come up with masks and masks will protect us and save us just just wear your mask and we'll get through this it's not going to happen it's not I'm not saying fight back I'm saying don't put up with their shit, is what I'm, that's all I'm saying. You don't need to put up with the, the regulations, the licensing. Get out of it. Uh, visit um, Jeff at StopThePiratesBlogspot.com. Go over to Raymond Karchevsky's uh, webpage at ArcEnterprises.com. And you'll see the spiritual war that is being waged against humanity. It's not just against Americans. Americans have the upper hand as far as because they, they haven't taken our guns yet. They are slowly, subtly manipulating the minds and the structure of thought for people to hand them over, to think that, oh, it's just a better idea. Look, they, they're they putting bans on all types of guns, regulating how much ammo, so on and so forth. And Americans are buying this shit, are believing it, because, and the people that are making the bullets or what whatever, take control of it. If we need bullets, Run an extra 50,000. Run an F extra million. Whatever. You know, don't let a corporate official, a corporate uh, monkey boy, tell you, no, you ran too many. The people that are bringing the um, gunpowder, whatever. You know, this could go as far as into farming, too. I just ran as into these types of examples to show you that a piece of paper is stopping you from helping other human beings. A piece of paper. What's wrote on piece of paper? Words. Spells. To think that someone, to give someone control over another human being. Over other humans' lives. It's not over just one human being, but other human beings. And it's our fault for following these rules. For following these policies. Cops, you need to do the same thing. 
You need to stop enforcing it. You need to stop enforcing the bullshit that you're brainwashed into believing. Brainwashed into thinking that you can't do this and you can't do that. And I can't allow this person to do that. Let them go. You want capitalism? You want free markets? Then you have to let people do things on their own. And if people are smart, they'll do it all on paper. So there's nothing there's nothing illegal about private contracting out of your corporate state. Get into a private state and write down these uh, contracts with others. Put it all down on paper. This is the stipulations. These are the repercussions if these stipulations aren't met under some whatever circumstances. And abide by them. And the judges, they don't have to be these Saturn-ruled political judges. They can be your uh, your cousin. They can be your neighbor. Just so everybody is on the same page of what is being said in these contracts and what is expected of each other in these contracts, there's your judge. This is building a new government. This is building, this is taking advantage of your, what is it, the Ninth Amendment, to where if you're not satisfied with the government that is being created, you have every right as a human being to leave that government. And I don't care what nationality you are, anywhere in the world, this is a natural fact. This is a natural law fact. Start doing some research. Getting into what you need to get into. Alright. Talk to you all soon.